Subramanian Shiva was an Indian writer and an activist during the Indian independence movement. He was born in a Brahmin Ayyar family at Batla Bulu near Dingi Bul in Madurai district of Madras presidency in 1884. He was born to Rajam Ayyar. Shiva wanted more Bharatiyas to join the freedom struggle. Hence, he established an organization called Dharma Paripalana Samaj in Trivandrum in the year 1901. Through this platform, he delivered motivational speeches, inspiring the youth to fight against the British. For this act, the British arrested and imprisoned Shiva in 1908. The young freedom fighter was an avid reader. Tamil poet and philosopher Thiruvalluvur greatly inspired him. When Subramanian Shiva was asked to defend himself at the witness box, after his arrest by British, he quoted lines from Thiruvalluvur's Thiru Kurul. While in the witness box, Subramanian Shiva did not hesitate to expose the British and show their true colours. He described the British government as tyrannical, angered the church after listening to his oration like the defense at the witness box, subjected him to 10 years of rigorous imprisonment. Subramanian Shiva ran a journey called Ganabani, where he expressed his views against the British and criticized all who supported British. He was lodged in different jails between 1908 and 1922, four times for his revolutionary activities and writings. He was subjected to hard labor the whole day. The room he was lodged in was cracked, had no lights. After several months, he somehow managed to persuade the prison officer for facilitating his writing. And he wrote many books, short stories, dramas, poetry in jail. Centuries of foreign aggression affected few natives to deviate away from their roots while many stuck to their belief and traditions. Subramanian Shiva, during his times, witnessed many educated fellow Bharatiyas hardly having any admiration for the mother tongue, Tamil. Besides raising his voice against British supremacy, Subramanian Shiva worked hard towards infusing passion in the Tamil to love their mother tongue. He himself was well versed in Sanskrit and many more Indian languages. But according to him, not learning, speaking or writing in home language, that is mother tongue, one would not do justice towards learning the other languages. He wrote in Ganabana, the life of a country is to be found in its language. If committing suicide is a crime against the state, he who begins to kill himself and his society by neglecting his state language is a person who commits crime a thousandfold. Though the law of the country does not include these murderers in the list of criminals, they are culprits according to the laws of creation, followed by the all-powerful deity who rules over the whole universe as the Soul Empress. However, it doesn't mean that Subramanian Shiva advocated only for Tamil language. He had respect for all the languages of the country and deemed the whole of Bharat as his mother. He revered Bharat Mata as a mother goddess and tried building a temple dedicated to her at Parapatti in present Dharmapuri district of Tamil Nadu. According to him, loving one's Mother tongue doesn't affect one's love for the motherland, for Bharat. Subramanian Shiva was appreciated by his leprosy in prison, after which he was shifted to Salin jail. The British were so harsh, he wasn't transferred to the other jail 
by a train or any other vehicle. Shiva was made to walk barefoot. He already had sores on his feet. During this period, he stayed in hunger for several days and slept in the open beside camels and on the roadside. He succumbed to the disease on 23rd July 1925 at the age of 41. A decade ago, government of Tamil Nadu inaugurated the memorial of Subramaniam Shiva in Parapatti Dharmapur district. Thank you. Namaskar. Thank <laughs> you.